to Signature uh, Dishes. Uh, my name is Paul Landerfield here at Signature of Warren. Uh, today we're going to be making a uh, pan seared tilapia with a green basil sauce. Uh, what we have here is our tilapia. Um, I have a little bit of paprika, salt, white pepper, black pepper, garlic, fresh basil, a little bit of fresh parsley, uh, a little fresh, uh, fresh minced shall shallots, uh, and olive oil, garlic, and some cherry tomatoes, and a little bit of um, white truffle oil. Uh, so what we're going to do is, um, I'm currently right now heating up the pan for pan sear this uh, tilapia. So uh, I put in probably about four tablespoons of oil in there. And so what we're going to do is slightly uh, season this. And I like to use a more kosher salt uh, when I'm using, uh, doing a fish dish. Um, it really stands out really well. And uh, so what I'm going to do is just cut both of these sides. A little bit of salt. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of paprika on there. Just to give it a little bit of color. When it cooks, I like to use a smoked paprika. It really makes the flavor stand out really well. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this over here. <clears throat> I've heated up my oil in here. And what we're going to do is just basically pan sear this uh, just to get a nice little color to it. We want to get that oil nice and hot uh, when we're doing these dishes. And like I said, what we're really doing is looking for a little color and searing these uh, seasonings right into this fish and uh, giving it a really nice color. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to transfer this over uh, to our plate to reserve, keep it in warm here. And we're going to sit this right up on top. So what I'm doing right now is I'm getting ready to start our sauce. I'm going to put probably about, uh, about a tablespoon of uh, olive oil in here. And we're going to get this pan start to heat up. And then what I'm going to do is add a little bit of a uh, minced garlic. Some minced shallots. And I'm going to saute this off so it's semi uh, translucent. And uh, you might know, uh, garlic turn on light, you know, just a light brown, that's all we need. That's really a simple sauce. That we're we're going to be using this here at Signature this week. And again, like I said, I like to test run these for um, my staff. And if anything, you know, as far as we need to critique it before we go into expediting this meal. Um, so it kind of gives a little test run. And it gives a good opportunity for, again, my staff to learn how to um, expedite this meal. I'm going to taper this heat back a little bit. And uh, I've got my uh, shallots up where I need them, and I'm going to add some heavy cream here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking a little bit of white pepper and a little bit more salt. And what I'm going to do is start cooking this down a little bit. And uh, basically what is we're going to let it reduce so it slightly gets a little slight uh, thickening to it. Also today what we're going to be doing, and I can probably get started right here and reserve this, is... Uh, on some of our plates, like I like to do is uh, uh, garnish, but you know, I like to make them like an edible garnish. So what I'm going to be doing is just a really simple garnish that I've used before is uh, pan seared uh, cherry tomatoes, and we're using organic cherry tomatoes today. And with that, I'll just be using a little pinch and um, salt, pepper, and a little bit of olive oil, and we'll do a light drizzle of white truffle oil to that. So I'm going to get this just up here nice, and I want this uh, oil really nice and hot. Uh, when we do this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start adding my uh, fresh basil in here now. Uh, with, and with the sauce again, with cream sauces, you've got to be very careful because they can burn. So you do want to keep your pan moving. You don't necessarily always have to whisk or, you know, using a spoon on it, uh, but just keeping that motion and obviously keeping where that heat's not concentrating in one area uh, too much. And um, so we're going to just let this cook down a little bit. And I will be adding our, our fish here shortly. I'm right here, I've got my oil nice and hot. And what I'm gonna do, I use sometimes I'll just check. So I got a nice little flame uh, coming up on that, so that's where I want it to be. I'm just gonna throw in those cherry tomatoes here. Like I said, we wanna get a little burn uh, to them. And uh, get that searing action on it. Again, once we get those that done, we're just going to reserve them off to the side and uh, wait till we use this uh, dish to garnish. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to transfer my tilapia over here into the sauce and let this finish uh, cooking here. 
And again, just like I said, I'll be stirring my uh, uh, saute pan every so often. Just kind of keep that uh, getting uh, the burn on there. And again, like I said, I just kind of want to wilt these up a little bit. Get them just a little bit of things so those natural sugars are coming out. And again, really all I'm using this is for just a uh, simple garnish. I'm going to put a little pinch of salt and a little bit of pinch of pepper. Again, this is where I want them to be. And I'm just going to set these off the side to reserve them. The sauces, obviously you want to use a heavy whipping cream uh, or heavy cream uh, with this uh, these dishes. I wouldn't recommend using half and half. Um, they do have a double thick. Um, heavy creams that work really well just cut cut down a lot of your timing uh, with that. Uh, but again, like I said, uh, cream-based soups, you really got to keep them moving uh, because they can scald on you or split on you. And once that happens, um, sometimes you can't recover from that. So the one thing I always highly encourage uh, cooks and chefs, uh, always taste your food as you're going. And we want to make sure that stuff is cooking down and we are pretty close to where we need to be with this sauce. You know, I don't want to, I don't want the sauce to be really thick, and I really don't. Um, you want it to be too runny, obviously. So we just want a nice texture to it. Again, like it's enough to coat a spoon, uh, about the back of the spoon. So I'm going to cut this off right now, and we're going to get ready uh, to plate this dish. Uh, like I said, we're just going to use a simple little garnish uh, today with this dish. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to transfer one of our pieces of tilapia, and we want to be careful. It is a tender fish. And it is coming apart here. Just really what I want to do is take just a little bit of this tomatoes and kind of want to work your workstation over to when you're plating to make sure you're. I'm going to put a little drizzle of white truffle oil. Take a little bit of our sauce, and that will just slightly go over. And I'm just going to garnish with a little bit of fresh parsley uh, that we picked up at the market today. And this is our signature uh, tilapia with a cream basil sauce. 